Hello everybody, welcome to VR Master League. This is uh, week 11, the start. A few days in, getting started maybe a little later than we expected, but that's okay, because we got our voice resting. You know what, now we're all ready to go, aren't we? For a busy rest of the week. So on this first stream here in Europe, we've got uh, Alpha Ducks facing off against Watching Weaves, and on the casting desk, I'm Paldor, joined by Sir Dimwi. Yeah, what's going on? It, uh, yeah, this is our first European game here on Wednesday. Uh, which is really wild, and really, uh, it's going to be a first day of NA games as well, so nobody playing on Monday or Tuesday as we get set to go here uh, as the teams come out of the, the tubes. We see uh, Alpha Ducks is going to be playing with Lil Rad, Stody, Ninja Knight, Martin the Third. that one taken by Alpha Ducks. Uh, and then over there on Watch Weebs, we've got a Bad Elmo, Hamsterville, Steffo, and uh, Dave Stan. As, ooh, Lil Rad getting that early, uh, that early two points there, putting it in for the two. And yeah, no, that's just 12 seconds in. Alphadex taking, uh, taking first, drawing first blood here. Yeah, that's a good start for them. They'll take that for sure. Uh, these two teams coming in. Again, first match of the week. I'm just surprised that it took that long. That means there's going to be a lot of games this weekend. And really going into next yeah. week, you know, just a couple weeks. Week and a half left now, basically, of regular season as Alpha rolls out. Always got those unique rollouts. I uh, want to shout out real quick. Uh, sir, did we? <laughs> for the uh, Twitch Prime sub there. Four months now. Apparently, you were first, undisputably the first in the chat to type anything today. <laughs> undisputably, yeah, no. And uh, really, I just, uh, yeah, I have nothing else to do with that Twitch Prime thing. And uh, uh, actually, it, it updated. I, I did that like two weeks ago, but it won't stop wanting to, to put that in the chat, so I finally got rid of it. Well, trying to get rid of the disc here into the goal, but couldn't do so. Uh, Alpha Duck's back on offense. Hello to everyone in the chat there. Saw Daniel, Lulz, Gilligan, Late Toast. Uh, I think that's it. Maybe. I don't know, but a hello. Welcome to the chat. Good to see everyone in here. Excited for Walls this. Uh, are the first best game. was there as well. Pretty sure I said him. Didn't I? Did I? I think I did. Other way, though. Oh, getting the Ooh. goal. It's Dave Sand from down under. Not Australia, but under the goal. Yeah, I'm going to have to watch the replay on this. I was looking at the chat when that happened. And uh, that's a good answer there from watching Weave to tie this one up. Oh, yeah, they got that chain down there first, and we're able to pop that one in before, uh, before Alpha Ducks had an opportunity to answer. Uh, so Alpha Ducks now uh, being given the opportunity to answer as they come out. Uh, is that just three coming out of the tubes there? Uh, looks like we got the four now, as we'll have uh, the collection by Ninja Knight. Uh, Ninja Knight trying to dash it off to Martin, and Martin was actually stunned there, but his defender had left him. So uh, if he stayed there, he actually might have had the disc at that point. But either way, Stody going for the three-point shot while the goalies all get bothered there by Lil Rad. And still going to be retained by Martin the Third and Alpha. 
Yeah, some good uh, some good possession here from Alpha Ducks. Uh, some disruption from watching Weaves, but Alpha Ducks still maintaining control as Ninja Knight's going to bring that one. Send it through. The bubble was looking for that cross pass to the teammate there, but the teammate got stunned out on that post. And it allowed another disruption. But again, despite that watching Weaves disruption, Alpha Ducks is back in control with it here, and they're going to go for another opportunity. And going for a bounce pass up here as well. Will be a three on two situation. Or three on three, rather, as they go for the nice cross. Oh, a cut off by Dave. What a good save. And I just made some noise, but I failed to unmute myself. That was a beautiful <laughs> save there from Dave Stan uh, to keep this one tied up and maybe oh, almost getting the 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 the, the, the leading goal. And, oh, my goodness. They that will. was three different players on Watch and Weaves. So They're all trying to take a shot. Two of them getting stunned out in sequence. And then the third one finally able to send that one in off the backboard. And that is Stefo. Putting it in for two, and that's going to bring Watching Weaves up by two here. Uh, four to two with six, uh, a little over six and a half to go. Yeah, it just seems like uh, the endless swarm of uh, Weaves coming in there. It was just, uh, they're playing whack-a-mole with some of those Ducks players. Punch, punch, knock loose, knock loose. But then the third one finally coming through with some, uh, just, again, the persistence. And it gets in the goal. So as a result, the two-point lead. But trying to tie it up back is the Alpha Ducks. Couldn't do so. A lot of punches coming up from the Weaves, though. Uh, on all these players to really deny them some of these cross passes. You can see even here, cut off very nicely. There it is right again. Taken back by Stefo. Stefo uh, with a clear. Now, is Stefo, because I'm looking at the roster and uh, on the website, Stefo is either a sub or it's Cryptic with a new name. Does anybody uh, anybody watching know if Stefo is a sub uh, or is Cryptic with a new name? No, that's just a meal again, changing his name. <laughs> Lime, right? No, I don't know. It's probably not. But yes, I, I'm. Uh, my guess is as good as yours. Either or, though, they got the, themselves a lead. Uh, Lowell's saying I don't think Steph was a name change, but right here, going for some loose change. There's the passes and getting the shots off of some nice soft cross. Even that one, little rad got it through, but he was still, uh, he still had a defender right on his feet, just about ready to punch him out again. So uh, narrow, narrow margins they're dealing with here on Alpha Ducks to get these passes and shots off in time. Yeah, definitely. There was a lot of traffic around the goal there. Uh, three players from both teams uh, hanging out there trying to uh, either get it in or stop it. And a uh, good goal there. And it's uh, been uh, lightly confirmed in chat that Stefo is a sub uh, for uh, Watch and Weaves in this game here, uh, which is interesting. Yeah, all doing well for them so far. Uh, but there's Alpha Ducks and finding, finally, maybe taking a breather and saying, hey, look, an actually open goal. And no defenders here to punch us. So we're going to take full advantage. And they did. That was a great shot there from Stody. Uh, nine meters out, good for the three. And uh, that's a good three there. Is, uh, this has been a game of twos up to that point. Uh, so just over halfway through, Alpha Ducks with a, with a, with a more comfortable lead. Although, you know, they're going to want to get a couple more here and uh, doing a good job of stuffing that one in mid uh, before uh, this uh -oh. one turns around. And he has some bouncing around there in the bubble. But luckily, a lot of time here to get the disc back. Uh, the double stacks from Alpha Ducks, they like are rolling out sometimes, especially on the offensive joust, but just in general, you're going to see them roll out with some of those uh, lead-ins, basically, where they just kind of put the disc in a general area, but they trust this, those two stacks. One of them is going to come through uh, with a grab. That said, watching Weaves here actually retaining, so maybe they'll have a chance back at offense again. Uh, it's watching Weaves. There's no G, Palador. It's not watching Weaves. Okay. Jeez. I don't even think I said that, did I? If I did, I'm not sure. I, I just know. a little rad with a shot. That that much I am sure with. <laughs> it was a nice shot from Little Rad. Uh, 18 meters a second. Uh, got some good heat on that one. Uh, but from seven meters out, so just for the two. Uh, but still, that is two more. They're going up by uh, now up by five, nine to four. And uh, yeah, no, you probably said watching. I just heard watching. It's probably when uh, when I'm saying uh, wolf. 24 when, when I'm when casting ignite and it just sounds like I'm saying a wolf uh, because uh, uh, Because reasons wait really I thought it sounds like Sheila to me But anyway Martin the third going for a goal here. It's 11 to 4 and watching weaves just got scored on That's Skyla what Skyla got to do with this why are you bringing Skyla into this bro? I don't know what's what is happening. What's right love now? got to do with this? What is happening watching weaves though on the joust advantage? They're down a bit now after that close start. It was tied seemingly not too long ago, and yet here we are, 11 to 4, 3 minutes and less than 3, in fact, as Dave rolls out and tries to get that pass over to the side. Bad Elmo there, but Ninja Knight as well. Nice punch. Another nice one, though, from Martin. He's been getting several of those as well. 
Yeah, and Alpha Ducks uh, doing a good job of stuffing watching Weebs there. They're going to go in for, ooh, look for that three, and it does ding off the side of the post. The Ninja Knight's going to get there first. Goal is still open, and they do finally get that shot in. Five meters out. That is low rad at 60 meters a second, pushing that lead up to, uh, let's do some math here, nine, 13 to four here. Uh, with just over two to go. You're so much better at that math than uh, than Caption and I have been last week or so. So good job on that. <laughs> two, 17 left in this match, or this first round of this match. And uh, here we go, roll out. Turn over, in fact, as we get all four players for Alpha Ducks. Uh, maybe rushing the shot a tad, but you did see that stack was short behind, so... Uh, uh, they did have to be still rather quick with it, but there's a stack again. Maybe another turnover going uh, in the favor. And th indeed, the, the stacks from Alpha right now really uh, buying them some, some good opportunities. Yeah, Alpha Ducks uh, doing a really good job with those stacks. Uh, their disruption uh, forced a turnover, and now uh, multiple opportunities to get the shots on goal. And Lil Rad does it there, sending it in just above the goalie. Goalie got his hand there. Uh, but presumably just not quite in time. And it's good for the two. And now uh, Alpha Ducks are up by 11. I uh, was just a minute and a half to go. And Lull's saying, we need emotes. I don't know. That looks like an emote to me. So I think you're good. <laughs> just kidding. We'll get some more in there. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, over here, Bad Elmo taking that disc. And uh, scoreless for a while, trying to break the drought and might not be succe successful though, because look, not only did Disking knock loose, but again, that stack from Alpha Ducks really, really collected here the last uh, half of this first round. Yeah, and watching Weebs doing an all right job at the moment of stuff in that mid, keep uh, making it difficult, difficult for Alpha Ducks to get out. Uh, fortunately, it's a little bit too late here in this round one. Now maybe uh, they can build some momentum here. Uh, that they can build off of going into round two as this one bounced away. Oh. And, uh, I just crashed out. The, uh, I believe you did. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume that hmm. we all did. Uh, I'm willing to bet it's not just you and me. Hmm. Um, so the screen is stalling here, really trying to play the stall game, playing the clock uh, for Alpha Ducks because they are ahead. So a clutch effort here at the moment coming in. Uh, we'll see if they can close out this game, Sir Dimwi. Yeah, I mean, really, uh, that that that, uh, that the, the the white screen is really just doing a really good job of of stuffing those passing lanes and uh, getting in the way of really either team uh, able to send this one around uh, between each other. I mean, how do you pass? Uh, I mean, this is literally I mean, you've heard of the uh, the immovable object, and uh, really, mm -hmm. this is like uh, this is like a wall uh, getting built between you and every other player on your team, where uh, you go to pass the disc and you just hit the wall, uh, nothing happens, and. Um, you know, that's what we're seeing right now is uh, both teams trying to make something happen in you know, the last 50 seconds of this game. Uh, but this wall is just getting right in the way of everything and uh, just not letting either team uh, perform. Yep. Um, oh, here, yeah, we're getting a message in the League Org. So as everyone who crashed, I know just before we went live with this stream, apparently there was a similar thing that happened there for them. Yeah. Uh, so they're going to host another one. The time wasn't too much left. We'll have to go. I'll go into the VOD right now and look at this real quick and see what the time and score was. But it was obviously... I don't know, 40 seconds or so left. Um, check that out. So bear with us, chat. It's uh, a case of the old Mondays here on Wednesday for our first match of the week. No worries, though. Yeah, it is. Uh, I, I even noted, I think it was yesterday in the Lee Cassis channel, that uh, uh, the, this week is going to be just backloaded with games. And uh, it's going to be fun. It's definitely going to be fun. There's going to be a lot to do over the weekend. There's going to be a lot to watch. And... Uh, yeah, uh, it's it's definitely a, one of the odder weeks. I mean, especially after like last week where it was uh, it was so evenly distributed that once we got to Sunday, there wasn't a whole lot going on left. And actually, it's been true for a couple weeks now where Sunday was really the, the least uh, uh, populated day. And of course, last Sunday being Easter makes sense for it to not be totally populated. Uh, but even uh, the week prior, uh, Sunday was a lighter day than, than usual. But then this week, it's looking like if Sunday is, a, let's say hypothetically Sunday is a light day again, oh man, Thursday, Friday, Saturday are just going to be stacked with games. But we do have a bunch of games already scheduled for Sunday, a bunch of uh, exciting games. Hey. And a bunch of games scheduled throughout the week uh, and a couple tonight to kick us off for NA as well. Yeah, it's going to be busy. I know last week, week 10 was uh, very similar. That, that Thursday through Saturday especially was... Uh, I think it took some years off my life. But, uh, yeah, it was very, very busy. And we'll probably look at the same thing here. I mean, only another week and a half of regular season left, essentially. So, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it's fine. 
we'll we'll power on through it, uh, get all the games that we can, and it's it's just gonna be fun to see. It's obviously gonna be a tight race. I'm s uh, expecting some. Certainly some challenge matches along the way, especially as certain teams are really trying to make those late pushes, and uh, we'll have to see how it goes here. But interesting, too, I was looking at that VOD just kind of on a separate note, and yeah, definitely, like, the, the time actually just stopped completely for half, like, a half a second or a second or so just before that that whole crash had happened. Um, but we do got the, the score, the time, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. 15 to 4. It was about 42 seconds. Trying to get on here. Uh, and let's see. Yeah, it looks like we got the server maybe back up here. It's hosted for us. And from what Ninja Knight is saying in the League Org channel, looks like they're going to just put it as one minute. And, oh, I still can't get on as, well, I'm no, sure. No, it, it happened again. Oh, they, they got a new one in. Were you in? It happened again. I, I, was, I was loading in. Oh, and then oh, I, I don't know where the message is, but I definitely saw a message. And uh, Lil Rad just popped into uh, Support Echo VR to uh, get some help. Because, uh, yeah, hmm. it did happen again. So that is some super clutch defense being played by the client right now. Uh, servers uh, catching defensive fire. Kind of doing their middleman impression here in the goal. <laughs> but, yes. Uh, looks like that is indeed the case. Well... In that case, maybe we have to default to the old Q&A session, and actually I'm seeing lulls are the best, saying, what do you call a door that's a pally? A pally door! My favorite joke of all time. <laughs> you know, I did, uh, we did, uh, eventually, we did request uh, the, the old pally door to get moved to the new lobby, and uh, uh, it, I, I can't confirm it was seen, uh, and whether or not that actually happens. Uh, I would say at this point, probably not, uh, but uh, it, was, it was a fun idea at the time, and uh, uh, definitely miss it because it's definitely one of the cooler little little you know because we have little tiny little things like that in your lobby where you float around and you can just take it at face value as you're floating around or you can kind of get into the cracks and crevices and see you know the history of the place and, and uh, things that have a little bit deeper meaning uh, I think uh, is a really cool thing to have so whether or not the palador gets reinstated or, or anything really just cool little things in the lobby that would uh, uh, add to its uh, depth of character yeah uh, I think would be really awesome. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice idea, but I can I can also understand. There's a lot of resources going into a lot of different things right now, and uh, I yeah. mean, for instance, the quest version coming out soon, and they actually just as of yesterday uh, updated the quest version with the lobby. I didn't get a chance to see it now, but we do see the 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 not new lobby, but the, you know the the updated current lobby basically, and saw a lot of people complimenting that one and. Uh, so yes, and for those by the by who might not have seen as well in the announcements channel, uh, the registration for the closed beta will uh, be ending on Friday. So two more days. Uh, closed beta set to start soon. So for those who haven't signed up for it yet, uh, go check the announcements channel in the Discord. You can get a, a link to the sign up form. Uh, but yes, you got, you got all that stuff coming up soon. And I think for closed beta as well, we're supposed to uh, potentially have the cross... I don't want to say that too soon, but I know cross uh, cross play, either enabled and closed or open. Not sure, but either way, a uh, closed alpha two is currently underway. It looks like that's set to basically end as soon as it started, and they're going to get ready for closed beta. That's uh, that's pretty that's pretty exciting, especially the, the cross play. I mean, that's really what we've all been uh, hyped about is, is getting the that quest population into the game uh, with the rest of us, and uh, so we can all have that that fun and i see you're loading in try uh, it. Uh, my, my <laughs> atlas just updated yeah try uh, and we'll yeah, see if it really, works really, really excited for the the quest to finally get out there i mean it's something we've been talking about for uh how uh, it's gotta be it's a while now right uh pretty much since the quest got announced even i think people were talking about it and um yeah it's 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 really exciting to be on the cusp of that uh just kind of waiting for it to drop it's almost you know you're you're it's like, uh, it's like, you know, almost, uh, I want to say the calm before the storm, but that's not the right analogy. It's just, uh, a really cool, uh, yeah. Rad Wyvern in, uh, uh, support asking for logs, um, for that. And, uh, all right. Yeah. They're going to get to that after the match. We are getting in here. Yeah. So just waiting on, the moment. waiting on more players to join there. Um, getting to a few of the actual questions there. Gilligan says favorite match casted so far. That's just about impossible to name, honestly. There's been a lot of really good ones. Um, 
I, mean, I mentioned one that both. stands out to me is uh, that that Flair versus Illuminati game back before we realized Flair was uh, a, a new top four team, and uh, the excitement in that, and then the Kang one after that. Uh, Flair. Know, I missed that one. That that first uh, Kang Flair game. Like I watched it uh, after the fact, of course, but or uh, sorry, Kang Kang Illuminati, because I remember at the same time we were casting something else on uh, a, on channel one and. That game was on channel two, but I remember hearing about like live updates in the chat and people were flipping out <laughs> over it. Like, oh my gosh, Flair is beating Illuminati. And yeah, because it was uh, it was really exciting. Now, of course, in retrospect, uh, hindsight being twenty twenty, uh, we know no Flair is just now that good. That's just uh, we just didn't know to expect that. Uh, but yeah. at the time, it was just it it, it felt like uh, uh, two of the biggest upsets in league history thus far, which of course. League history is uh, a little short because uh, we are still relatively new, but uh, still uh, just it felt like such an insane upset at the time. And uh, yeah, just really cool to see. But uh, th but there have been so, there's been so many games. I mean, uh, speaking of uh, um, uh, uh, Gilligan, there was a while of Shaxx versus Plus the other week where uh, Plus the first game, Plus had three players. They were playing 4v3. And uh, Wireless Shacks took that one uh, pretty, you know, pretty convincingly. But then the second round, they plus went up by seven. And then in the last like two and a half minutes, Wireless Shacks just popped off, came back with eleven unanswered goals to take that, uh, take that second round, or the, uh, yeah, take the second round to kill it in two. And since then, Wireless Shacks have been uh, absolutely dominant. Uh, I mean, they've been doing so, so well lately. Not bad Elmo here doing very well in the dancing. <laughs> For the camera, so again, a little bit of that halftime entertainment, if uh, you want to call it that, I suppose. We see the you know, players over the weeks. We got, we got our uh, last weekend, over the weekend, we had uh, the Kangorillas and Infinite, or I want to say, maybe it's Infinite and someone. All these days mesh together for me, but we got the second round of, uh, of the Rock, Paper, Scissors. <laughs> a VRML Rock, Paper, Scissors tournament going under there, I, I do believe... Infinite is still undefeated in that, the current reigning defending champions. Also, uh, really late here to some of these questions. Rock Science saying points rewards when, I, I don't know, maybe uh, give me like a million subs and I'll do it. I don't know. That's too much. Give me give me like a, a sub per day for a week and I'll get you so many rewards, Rocks. So many rewards. Uh, but, let's see. Shepard saying I miss the Pally door. Same, but you know what? Let's just... Let's be grateful it was there, even if it didn't last forever. Uh, Lols, the whole server had kind of gone down on that one, unfortunately. Hamster Bull, who is also playing the game, but had it say, uh, mentioned the signups uh, for Alpha. Well, hopefully you get in for the, the beta, the closed beta. will be starting soon, it looks like, or closed Alpha, either or. Uh, let's see, what else did I miss? Lols, when does the next season start? Not sure yet. To be yeah, determined. To be determined. We'll be in you know discussion, but when when we know for sure, we'll have you know. We still including the finals and things like that. We still have about a month or so left well, of season one, so in, we got some time yet before uh, announcements like that come out. But that said, round one, the finish of round one, last minute. Thank you for sticking around. We're back. And on that note, Lols Fontac says has the best moves. I'm pretty sure Fontac still owes us a sub, <laughs> only because he said the other day. Hey, if this team, uh oh, uh oh, I was right. Uh, well, uh -oh. well, won't pay for it at least, at least not immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting uh, happening there. I remember Fontex said, "Hey, if Fusion wins this match, I'll gift a Twitch sub." So I'm just calling him out on that now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, over here goes the Ninja Knight 93. Also, just kidding, he's not obligated. Uh, but a pass crossing out and over, and we'll roll outside the goal again. Yeah, Alpha Duck's just gonna control it here for the last uh, uh, minute of the game. <laughs> little, oh, uh, nice! Oh, who was that? A uh, uh, little rat on the ceiling doing a little twirl uh, to to juke his way away, and then send that one in from nine meters out. Good for the three off of that backboard. Uh, beautiful shot there from Little Rat uh, to Isis. Yeah, and ten seconds left. So after, I guess the server forced the timeout upon us. We do have the conclusion of this first round finally here. And we'll be 18 to 4 favoring Alpha Ducks. And there we go. Accurate. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so uh, Alpha Ducks is going to take round one here. Four, uh, 18 to 4, up by, uh, they win that one by 14. 
And, uh, yeah, I usually go through stats right now, but we literally only have a minute of game time there. Yeah. Uh, of stats, so it's like uh, game high points, because the little rabbit with three, and I uh, saved the bad Elmo, and then uh, they're already reset, so those are gone. Yeah, uh, we, we can... You still got them on the, the stream there. We can always just multiply it by 10. I'm pretty sure that's an accurate way to do things. So, wow, that's Little Red with 30 points leading 30 the way points. in that, round that one. That season high? That might be. So, very impressive. Very impressive. All right, well, nonetheless, we got ourselves a second round, and that was the quick intermission, I guess, to make up for the earlier, longer intermission, thanks to the server issues there. But we're good to go now, and... Hopefully will be the case for the rest of this uh, match as the Alpha Ducks look to roll out with uh, some speed and some strength. But it was actually Weaves getting there on the defense. But here back on the turnover. Nice leech actually coming in from Dave. So Dave trying to get there first. He does with a slap shot from Stoney. Oh, what a nice hit out there with some accuracy. Don't. Don't, 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 don't roll out. I know I just did the uh, the, the Nintendo Wii song. It was actually supposed to be the uh, the ludicrous song rollout uh, from probably uh, the aughts. Uh, but yeah, great shot there from Stody. Setting it in for the, that early three. Uh, good lead there uh, to start round two here for uh, Alpha Ducks. Don't, 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 don't do that again. As we get here, Ninja Knight with a bounce shot. Goes off the backboard, but recovered and made and saved, actually, by Hamster. But yeah, I, I like that. I was confused what you were doing at first, but then I'm like, wait, is that the Nintendo thing? That is. Wait, are we gonna get a, a are we gonna get a cease and desist? And we, I'm not sure I want to do that anymore. A little rat over here though gets the score. That's gonna be five points quickly for Alpha. It's a dun 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 up, bump bump. That's what I was going for, but it came out totally wrong. And uh, yeah, so uh, maybe because I know uh, I know that company who are really nameless uh, can be kind of litigious. So uh, yeah, we'll just move on from that. Yeah, maybe. Uh, so, hi, hi, hi Tenendo, how's it going? But Steffo takes the disc over here on the midline and drives it in, looking for the disc, but a quick boost coming in now to contest it very nicely from Martin. Yet, yet another one of those stuns as he patiently backs it out to uh, Stody. So they did clear there from Stody. Going to set it all the way down into the weave zone. But Hampshire Bill is back. The announcer in the arena uh, crediting him with a save there. I'm curious. I'm going to pull up. Uh, did he get a save off that? Uh, could have. I don't know. Oh, Lil Red, either or, is going to get the disc back. Actually, make the Ninja Knight now as it gets loose, trying to find their goal opportunities. There's still Steffo just sitting there, waiting in the goal. And Ninja Knight, you can see him already on the barrier, waiting, which is a, you know always a handy thing. You can see, okay, my teammate has a chance at getting that disc. I'm going to position myself in a place where it can be a quick pass and maybe an easy score. So good recognition, even though it didn't pan out at first. Yeah, and Alphadox is still uh, controlling the disc. It is, uh, there There have been some wild bounces, some questionable passes, some missed passes, but they're still maintaining that control. And uh, Watching Weaves have been doing a good job of, of stuffing Alphadox uh, quite a bit, but Alphadox just keep getting that disc back. I mean, we saw it again right there. Uh, and it's kind of been the story of the game uh, where Alphadox just get opportunity after opportunity, despite uh, how much, uh, how many clears Watching Weaves get off of them. And uh, another one we'll probably see again. Here we do. Uh, I'll watch Reeves break that one up, and it's right back in the hands of Alphadox again. Ooh, and uh, Martin holding onto that disc for a fairly long time. Does manage to get it through, but uh, taking it back is the Weaves. The watching Weaves, didn't we? There, it, I'm putting a G in there from now on as they go for that score, but just sailing past actually the hands and some more stuns. Then you would be factually inaccurate. That's okay. Never bothered me before. Uh, but over here, Ninja Knight, deep shot, but going to be taken out there by Bad Elmo. So him and Steffo doing a good job to cut off the passing and the shooting lanes there. Uh, but right back again, Alpha Ducks. Now for a bounce shot, actually might just turn into a pass if they can uh, recover here with a good stun. There's Martin again. Those uh, powerful uh, brawling that he's been showing in the midline kind of all day so far, just paying off again for yet another chance at a goal as a windmill in for Ninja Knight. Actually, so, okay, the angle of uh, my camera there, uh, I really thought he was coming in against two defenders and just casually walked by them. But no, uh, after seeing it again, uh, definitely the, those two defenders were, were a bit further out than I thought they were. So, uh, yeah, Ninja Knight able to walk that one in uh, pretty easily there, one-on-one -on -one against the goalie. He's going to windmill it, uh, and then stuff it in on the bottom side of the goal there, beautiful goal there. Uh, and that puts Alphadux up by seven. I was just over five to go. 
Yeah, so watching Weebs, watching Weebs, are gonna get a maybe a first attempt at a score. Doesn't get the a goal, however, so still remaining scoreless. Kind of a, a cap being uh, placed on the goal, it seems like, at the moment. After you know that, that first round, they had that rather quick start that was 4-4 four to four at some point. But since then, unable to get the points on. Meanwhile, Alpha Ducks, uh, even though they're struggling on a few of these, now they're starting to put it back together again here. And it's a nine points, courtesy of a Martin assist to Stody. Yeah, that was uh, that was a good that was a good little pass sequence there. Martin Larry is sending up to Stody, and it's Stody's goal. Uh, he brings it in. He, he he brings it in with the right hand, and from that angle, he really didn't have a whole lot of room to work with uh, with the goalie and goal. Uh, so he puts it in like that one spot the goalie wasn't going to be able to get to, and uh, it was a beautiful little beautiful little goal there from uh, Alpha Duck. Yeah, nice job by Hamster to at least punch a few players on the way out to buy some time, but still. It was only a delay on the inevitable, apparently, as Lil Red does score. And that's 11 points here. Uh, hello, good afternoon to Omen Hollow, by the way. It says, good afternoon, Palor, long time no see. Hello, it is I and Dimwi. How's it going? Also, uh, yeah, Lulz, yeah. by the way, he's asking about Atlas real quick. Uh, that's basically a private server browser, essentially. Just lets you join really quick without, without needing to invite players, things like that. So, yes, uh, that's you can find that on... The Discord, in fact, there is a, an Atlas channel on the Discord now, the main Echo Discord. So, uh, yes, private match browser, basically. Don't even need to invite players. You can just join through there. That's a really uh, convenient uh, thing, especially uh, if, you, like, if you're someone who's been having crash problems lately. Uh, you can Ooh, have you, yourself or someone else, a teammate as a beautiful turnover there, but just to, to finish that thought. Uh oh He's going to finish the thought for you with a hot shot from Little Red. 14 points. Now you can finish your thought, though. <laughs> yeah, no, I was just going to say, uh, you know, if you're having some crash problems, excuse uh, the extra noise there. Um, you can have a teammate or yourself host the game, and uh, if you crash, you can rejoin very, very quickly uh, through Atlas. I know I've been setting it up that way like, as Nova was finishing out our, our season. Uh, I, I uh, had Atlas running because I was having a lot of crash issues, and uh, so I'd always have Atlas. Oh, and, no! What uh, have you done, uh, Dimwi, with the caster's curse? Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, so time for a Q&A again. Lulz are the best saying, is that how you do the cool camera stuff, auto disc following and stuff? Nope, that's all just manual. Although, I think Exhibit at one point or another was working on some uh, disc following tools, but now anything you see is just manual cam work. Quick flex, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, okay, well, more defense being played from the servers. That's all right. How do you move so fast? Uh, you Well, you can get free cam. If you uh, plug in a gamepad, Xbox controller, or any other PC-compatible gamepad, and you press C when you're in spectator mode, that enables free cam, and uh, then there's you can kind of toggle how uh, actuate how fast you go by using the triggers and, and and such. So you can kind of mess with acceleration by using triggers. But yes. Anywho, guess I'll go look up the time and score again. That was I'm that was a take a moment uh try to send in my uh uh my log so this can get looked at uh yeah. so yeah if I'm quiet for a minute that's what I'm doing no problem but that was quite the quite the curse didn't we <laughs> the second after you mentioned server <laughs> problem <Yeah>. boom <laughs> well it happens I'm just glad it wasn't me for once because usually uh I'm the one putting through that casters. Caster's curse. But anywho, any if anyone has more caster Q and A that wanna send on the way, I'm all ears I do suppose. I'm just trying to check it out here. Let's see. Now it was Oh wait. Okay, the spot is not accurate for me at the moment. Let's try that again. Maybe, maybe. Remember seeing, let's see up there, it was Dano actually, so one of one of our new uh, league casters, Dano bit up, complimenting the Hamster Bull name. Just want to call that out too. Yeah, one of my rather favorite names of the league as well. Is he a hamster? Is he a gerbil? The world shall never know. Now, all right, finally the VOD is actually working for me. Now I can get the time, get the score. And we'll be just fine. 
Okay, it looks like it was 14 to 0. And 324, there we go. All right, that's good. Good to go. Anyway, uh, Atlas is back up for us if we want to try and get it in that one and cross our fingers. <laughs> I did just submit uh, all three of the logs I had uh, from this series, so hopefully uh, that'll get looked at. Yeah, for sure. Hamster saying, I think the curse will be lifted if we completely restart scores and play again. Hmm. <laughs> Seems legit. <laughs> Uh, Hamster, or Lull saying, are you casting High Voltage versus Invictus? Uh, yep, should be good to go on that one. Uh, there's only two North American games, at least when I checked about an hour ago for the day, and uh, both of them are separate, so we should be good to go on casting those. I believe Skinny and Caption will be casting that one, in fact. So, yes. Although, mentioning curses, I don't know, Lulz. I don't know. <laughs> We, we had this happen last week, I'm just saying. I mean, the game did get started, to be fair. So it's not the, exactly the same curse we were dealing with last week, but... I'm just saying. Um, Alakos asking if the game is finished. Note, just dealing with uh, some server troubles this afternoon, it would seem. Some that I'm kind of unfamiliar... Or, like, I'm not used to seeing, in fact. Usually, if you'd have crashes, it's just kind of a straight-up, you get booted out and... Usually don't get the error screen like that, which we have. So a little bit of an unusual circumstance, but that's uh, what it is. And yes, Omen with a rip. Yep, many rips, in fact, for the servers this morning, afternoon. Kind of morning for me, but uh, I suppose afternoon slash evening for the rest of the world, huh? Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be what, like eight o'clock in the UK? Yep, something nine. like that. I something like that. I think. Plus, I want to say seven hours ahead from me, but I'm not positive. Uh, that sounds about right. Yes. I think they were plus four, and then the clocks got maybe five, right? Probably. I'm just basing it off of Leicester last year, off of that those season three finals of ESL. So, if I recall. They're seven hours ahead of me Only at that time, and we're just about on the one-year anniversary. I only mentioned that, too, because I was looking looking over the photos the other day. Had, like, a little nostalgia trip of sorts. I miss the days where you can travel the lands. <laughs> uh, but it looks like... Maybe one day again. Yeah, but I don't think in 2020 for anyone, it seems like, unfortunately. So, one of these days. 2021, though, that'll be the year, and looking forward to another... Even if not a land, just an Echo meetup in general. Like, want to want to see all the people again. You know, kind of like OC6. No tournament there, but still just a great meetup. Uh, Alakasta uh, saying, miss the beginning. I'm assuming it still stands that it's just ready up when this. And uh, yeah, well, definitely some problems coming in, but we're going to try and finish up the last 3.30 of this match. That first round was 18 to 4 in favor of Alpha Ducks. Uh, this round, 14 to 0 so far. And just Alpha yeah, Ducks uh, really pulling ahead. Notable was the, the start of that first round uh, was a back and forth between uh, back and forth of twos between the two teams two two four four uh, and then Alphadoc scored a three and that's uh, kind of when they started uh, uh, running away with it here. Yeah, definitely have been doing as much. Uh, a lot of it based on speed. That shot would have been online had it not been for the double stacks essentially closing off that goal really quickly. Uh, it's like I always mentioned too. When even when you have an open goal these days, it's just. Uh, it's open for a, all of a second, and usually the defenses are back. So you'll usually have one opportunity at an open shot, if that. But Stody here is going to roll in on a punched goalie. That was a good <laughs> stun coming in from Lilrat, I think it was. Uh, assisted by Martin on that Stody goal. Stody comes in. It's hard to tell because of how, uh, cause of just how the bodies float in the game uh, versus how you're actually standing. He brought that one very casually behind his back before kind of hooking it up above the goalie there. Uh, a really slow shot. I actually didn't catch speed on it. But, yeah, that was uh, 
uh, I wouldn't call it steez because it wouldn't have been uh, technically intentional. I think it was intentional in the sense that he was trying to beat the goalie, uh, not that he was trying to be flashy or anything. Yeah. Oh, and study again with the goal there, and that's going to put him two away from that mercy. Yeah, and just tough as well because, again, watching Weaves competing there in that first round uh, for a few minutes, but especially with the kind of the start-stop uh, we all know how, how that can affect gameplay and mentality and things like that. It just makes it all the, the harder to really find your rhythm. So definitely tough go of things uh, to open up this week. But Alpha Ducks just the same. I mean, they're, you know, they're going to uh, get the win here and be happy of it. <laughs> oh, excuse my snort. I assume you heard <laughs> the, uh, the yelp. <laughs> yep, sure did. Uh, but yeah, so... The, Players looking to close this one out here for Alpha Ducks, trying to deny any mercy. Here's Dave Stan. They're going to throw that through the mid and just takes a few bounces over there. So gets stuck for a while and right back to Stody. And although we don't have the stats for it, we just know the possession time has been a huge factor because of these multiple rebounds and shot attempts that Alpha Ducks, as they close the match with a great shot, have been getting. Wow, 21 off that uh, Martin the Third game ender. Wow. Is that Martin the Third? Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I couldn't see from here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> 17 meters a second, 32 meters out from the four. Uh, that was an underhanded shot as well. That was a beautiful shot there for Martin III to end that one. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we only have a few minutes of stats available, um, which amounts to uh, study with a game high of four, Martin with three, Martin also with an assist and a save. So I guess we can multiply all this by uh, by 1.8, right? Or 18? Right? Uh, yeah, sure. It was 10. And we had still like two minutes left when we ended that one-ish. Yeah, for about a minute and a half, something like that. So, like, multiply by 18. Uh, can anybody do a multiply by 18? Well, uh, in their head, let's see, 36. It's a, a 44, 54. So, Martin the third with 54 points uh, in that game. That is absolutely massive. Study 18, 36. Uh, what's that? 72. Study with 72 points in the game. Uh, insane. Martin with 18 assists. Martin with 18 saves. I mean, you can see how uh, uh, Alpha Ducks is able to come away with this one here. As uh, I mean, nobody gets uh, numbers like that except these guys, Martin and Study. Uh, that is absolutely insane. Study with a, uh, a league uh, record of 72 points in a single game. That is mind blowing. That shatters uh, Ender's record from us uh, from preseason. Uh, I think he had like 42. 43 uh so study coming away with a new record of 72 points in a game martin the third with a record of 72 saves or excuse me uh, th uh was it 18 saves that is absolutely insane uh from these guys here on alpha ducks none of that is factual but indeed if it was that would be super impressive <laughs> but the uh yeah the, the math i mean the math checks out and that's i guess all that counts but what does count is the 21 point score there for alpha for sure uh, definitely, regardless if it was 70 points or just a 21, I mean, Alpha Ducks catching fire. Uh, really, after just a slow initial start, they found their speed. They found their double stacks plenty. They got a multitude of rebounds and, and multiple shot attempts. And by the end of the day, uh, yeah, it just paved the way for that strong two-round victory and, uh, and sweep here from Alpha Ducks. So watching Weebs, you know, again, not the start they wanted and very tough, especially just with the start and stoppage. Uh, but contesting them for a while there, they had some uh, nice defensive plays and were going kind of stun, stun for stun with the Alpha Ducks player for a while there. But uh, just couldn't keep up that that momentum for you know the entire uh, 20 minutes of play there. No, they did uh, in all seriousness. Watch away. I mean, they played well. Uh, they they came out of the gate uh, doing really well, uh, keeping keeping up, keeping pace with uh, Alpha Ducks to start the game. Uh, but yeah, Alpha Ducks just kind of found their footing. And really just started uh, uh, dom really where what was I mean because Alpha Ducks uh, excuse me watching weeps did a really good job of stuffing uh, uh, Alpha Ducks the passing lanes uh, particularly around the bubble watching weeps was really strong uh, it was just whenever watching weeps would force a turnover they, they would give it right back to Alpha Ducks or Alpha Ducks would find a way to get it right back and uh, it gave Alpha Ducks opportunity after opportunity after opportunity uh, to just keep trying and uh, when you give any team that many opportunities they're gonna they're gonna put them in. Uh, at one point or another in uh, Alpha Ducks. The more they put them in, the more efficient they got with it against uh, Watching Reeves. Uh, so, yeah, well, I mean, Watching Reeves did a really good job on defense. They just – they weren't able to, to maintain that control. They, they would get it and then uh, and then lose it real quick again, and they would turn back on them. And they'd have to get it again. Uh, but, yeah. yeah. Uh, but otherwise, uh, they, play, they played uh, fairly well, especially considering they did have a, a sub uh, in this game. Yeah, and uh, 
you know, Steffo there, he was he was impressing as well. He put up some nice uh, stats. You can't see much, obviously, on this screen because of, you know, the low amount of sample size. But, I mean, uh, he was doing very well, especially in that first round. Uh, but just, yeah, uh, will be ultimately the victory here for Alpha Ducks. And they'll improve their record 9-12 nine, nine and 12 here. Meanwhile, uh, for watching Weebs, newer team uh, in the European scene. They'll go to 2-6, and six, but uh, hanging in there and to this late season. It's always good to see these new teams that have joined and kind of settled here and you know, started to uh, develop that whole mentality, that meta mentality. I, I saw, you can, in fact, you can see here on the schedule, we have Watch and Weebs versus Team Gecko uh, currently scheduled for tomorrow. I think from what I was reading earlier, it might be just more of a tentative thing and could be delayed. But either way, these two teams, Watch and Weebs and Team Gecko, they've, been, uh, they've had uh, some great matches in these first few weeks that both these teams joining around the same time into the league. Uh, and uh, they, they've, uh, they had uh, two weeks ago, Played three times in one week. Two scheduled matches, one challenge match, uh, and two of those three matches went to one round. Or th oh, sorry, went to three rounds, and uh, this the third one was, I believe, a sweep. But either way, it was a two and one series overall across those three matches, and that'll be fun to watch uh, if it happens tomorrow or whenever it does happen. Um, and yes, over to uh, let's see, I, want, I pronounce it right, uh, Kowodin. Cowden? I don't know. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. I've, I've mispronounced so many people's names across the season, like players' names and Twitch people. I believe it's pronounced Kowden. <laughs> could, could be. I see where you're getting at with that. Yes, maybe. Kowden Ka TV uh, saying, how do I join a team? Or how do I play in the tourney? Uh, Lulz are the best linking you to it there. And yeah, it's, everything is you know, open and accessible. Uh, there's actually 50-some subs registered even to the league, so you can do a substitute thing, you can find a team, uh, whatever the case is, it basically caters to your whole schedule. Uh, matches are played seven days a week and just scheduled between the teams. Uh, new, new matches come out each Monday uh, where it says, this is who you're supposed to play for the week and then teams just kind of schedule amongst themselves. But there's a lot of flexibility there and especially with the quest release coming up soon, which of course is gonna be huge and cross platform as well, cross play. Uh, expect going into the end of 2020, the second half of 2020, we're going to see a lot of new teams coming into the league. And thanks to the whole ladder system as, as well, it really doesn't matter if you're a veteran team or completely new to the game. I mean, as long as you have the players in the pool, the teams in the pool, you're going to be playing amongst each other, generally speaking, uh, each week. You know, you have play against similarly, similarly ranked teams. Yep. Generally, but speaking of the latter, I just gotta before we go, I gotta rep uh, this this one game tonight, Wireless Jacks versus Legends, uh, because right now uh, Legends is technically gold; they're in eleventh place. Uh, Wireless Jacks are in twelfth place uh, in in silver, and uh, both of them uh, right now, uh, so they're they're both sitting just outside of that top ten, and uh, however. Either team uh, winning this one here, one in particular, Legends, when it, like if well, if Legends wins this game, they, they push up all the way to like seventh or something in one game. Wireless Shacks could potentially push uh, push further up, closer to gold here. Uh, so this is actually a really exciting game uh, to watch out for. This uh, Jax versus uh, uh, Legends uh, tonight, because uh, yeah, the implications of that one uh, are, are pretty. Uh, as we end the season out, uh, could be uh, significant, yeah. particularly for Legends. I think that, yeah, absolutely true. And I think that'll apply to a lot of these uh, matches between gold and master teams. I mean, that's that race is so tight there. And obviously each win, for that matter, each point uh, is going to count all the more here these last couple of weeks. I mean, just going to try and push every single little advantage and point of MMR that you can. And they're going to, you know, so many teams just going to be competing for those uh, high seed finishes if they can. Uh, so it'll be very fun and yeah, you know, just interesting to keep an eye on these last, uh, you know, last uh, week, what, ten days, something like that, eleven days or so of, of the uh, pre or the season one, regular season, I should say. And then after that, we have you know qualifiers uh, for weekends, a couple weekends in a row, and then Mother's Day, and then after that, finally, uh, in mid-May, the finals. So it's all coming well, I think, to I think, head. Uh, I think we'll have the the open qualifier the one week, and then it's Mother's Day, and then we get the the next qualifiers and finals. So it'll be it'll be kind of a uh, we'll have the open qualifier and then everybody gets time off before we get to the actual uh, final series. Yeah. All right. Well. So uh, it's actually it, I, I kind of like the way that worked out because that's a uh, 
yeah. Uh, maybe we could have uh, like a like a because you know uh, NHL does like in the lead up to uh, their their finals. Uh, they do like uh, the All Star game. They do the skills competition. Uh, maybe we could uh, wait. Maybe we got... do something like that. I got an idea. Pizza League Mini Season Three. Boom. <laughs> we'll see about that. But uh, yeah, no, I agree. There, that'd be a good time to definitely host some some events here. At the same time, though, after what it has been a long season, too, maybe some players wanting that rest. I'm not sure. Either way, we'll, we'll see if we can get something going. I mean, I agree. That would be a fun idea. Uh, just kind of a casual, semi-casual uh, competitive cup of some sorts, mixed teams. or There's still that su uh, substitute cup that I talked about that I want to roll eventually just because we have so many league subs. It's just kind of a matter of matter of time and, I guess, putting it together. But it's definitely something that I like the idea, uh, idea of down the road. But, uh, yes. Danimal Shepard saying, I hate Milk's names. <laughs> make a rule to make them switch it. I really should. I really should. That, that'll go into the list. But all right. So I do believe that'll do it for us here in this lone European game. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And Baron, with some of the delays, appreciate you all. Uh, until the games later on tonight, can bring him up one more time for you just to show. But, yeah, two North American games uh, will be... Both casted and streamed, no problem. High Voltage versus Invictus at 6 p.m. Central, and then at 10 p.m. Central, Wireless Jacks versus Legends, so stay tuned for both. But until then, I've been Palador. That's been Sir Dimwi. This has been VRML, the start of uh, Week 11. First match of Week 11, at least. And yes, be happy, be healthy, be safe, take care, and be good to each other. Emphasis on that last point, especially after last week. All right. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye for now.